YouTube, it's your boy Kyrie. Welcome back to another video with your boy Kyrie. Your boy is back with the reaction videos, man. You see the title and the thumbnail of today's video. I'm back with another reaction video, man. Back on the grind. I'm gonna be posting a whole bunch of uh whole bunch of videos this year, man. To pranks, to challenges. You know, especially a lot, especially a lot of pranks, man. I got a lot of got, got some pranks up my sleeve I'm trying to do. But um, we are reacting to my experience growing up as a chubby kid animated story. I don't know who is this. This is uh some guy named Arrow Story. We're gonna be reacting to it's a little animated story. We're gonna uh we're gonna react to so um leave a like, road 800, subscribe to join the hashtag Kai family, man. Join the family, let's get it, man. Let's go. Okay, so if I were to sum up my experience of growing up chubby, it would probably be uh, survival. Okay, make other kids laugh or perish. No, that's too extreme. I'm just, I'm just oh, kidding. Man. Well, maybe. Maybe I am. So this is a dumb story about growing up chubby. Hey, everybody. Really quick before we get into the video, I just wanted to share... Uh, yeah, how the fuck am I a YouTuber, bro? <laughs> Hi, everyone. So before we get into the video, um, I just wanted to share with you guys the featured designs on the store. 60% um, of profits go directly to the artist, so you're helping them pay for rent, buy groceries, and you also get to wear some cool-ass art. So. All right, man. We don't, we don't care about your little which, which, about your merch, man. Let's get into the, let's get into the anime store. Talk like this? Anyways, um, link will be in the description. Get and into the, the anime below, story, bro. And I hope you enjoy the don't video. Don't care. Take care. Why does that happen, bro? Oh my gosh, who is this? <laughs> so from elementary school to roughly around freshman year university, I fit into the stereotype of the funny, chubby Asian kid. So people liked me because I made them laugh and that was cool. People were nice to me. Also, I had special protection True against bullying. I, um, unlike some of the other kids that shared the same interests as me back then. I'm so sorry that I had to turn my back on you guys. My own brothers! But it was probably their fault for being weird and barking at other kids, if I'm being honest. So although I was generally liked, I was never really taken seriously. I was liked for being dorky, which isn't a bad thing, but no one would be impressed with me for being good at sports or dressing good. I was praised, but sometimes I wanted it to be for being cool, you know, not just dorky. I just wanted a nice little bite-sized crumb, you feel me? Just a tiny crumb, madam. Harold, I'm sure that you didn't look that dorky. It, like, it wasn't that bad. Now, normally I don't argue with people. I, okay, well, no, no, that's a lie. But to give you an actual representation of, of what I looked like. Oh, oh, right? I just, I just want to know why was I built like that? How do I look 13 and 30 at the same time? Hey, okay, yo, okay. I may point glasses. out something specific. Uh, what is this off-brand t-shirt? That's is... not even Optimus Prime. What is that? That's that's Optimus Backup. Fuck, <laughs> fucking Optimus Secondary over here. So, anyways, I'm just a little dorky sunflower boy, right? Just chilling every day. All I did was drink water and mind my own business. You know, like I go to school, do my little monkey dance to make my friends laugh, go home and watch anime. Duh, that's what you're supposed to do. Go to school, water, mind your business. Dude. Bad. Maybe play some games. You're gonna graduate. And you're gonna why graduate either way, bro. Why does it? So beautiful. Why does it matter, bro? I was living in harmony. Then, then everything, everything changed, changed when the fire Courtney from home attacked. made fun of my off-brand Optimus Prime shirt. God damn it, man. That joke was so much funnier in my head. So, elementary school. One of the girls in my class had brought one of those, like, Disney teen magazines, and it had one of those head-ass quizzes. Which Disney boy is your type? Find out now! This shit was featuring, like, Troy Bolton, fucking Zack and Cody, the Jonas Brothers. Probably would've had, like, One Direction had this been a couple years later. If this magazine was in 2020, it'd probably be like, Whoa! Which BTS member is your dream husband? Who is your favorite TikToker? Whoa! Nice cut! So this girl and her friend are just foaming at the mouth while they're having their, uh, academic discussion. They're talking about their favorite types of boys, and then out of nowhere, they start talking about me. Why? Why Why would you do that? D what? Does it look like I can compete against any of these people? I was literally 12. 
they were analyzing and critiquing me like I was some sort of beautiful, delicious, succulent meat on a stick. It was disgusting. Women only want one thing, and it's disgusting. Oh my god, you know what? Like, Errol is like funny and cute, but, but like, he's like a dorky teddy bear cute, you know? Oh, oh yeah, 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 I know what you, I know what you mean. Like, Errol is like, he isn't a boy that you would date, but he's a good boy. You know, he's like a puppy that listens to you. <laughs> hey man, we got our, so we got our first, we got so fresh and so clean oh. ad coming, man. We gonna oh, skip this ad. No, we're not We can't skip bro. it. We gotta wait till it finish. We gonna, we gonna skip this to you. ad. What do I do with that? Video, how, how do I defend myself against that? First of all, how Four, do you even recover from three, something like that? It was like two, I was getting jumped in broad daylight. Two, Talk about catching a stray bullet, man. Now, this didn't leave me heartbroken or anything, okay? This wasn't the origin story of my vengeance or anything like that. Okay, but I will admit it wasn't fun to be compared to Troy Bolton, okay? Wh whatever, it's fine. But all jokes aside, ultimately, it didn't bother me that much. My mentality was, uh, I mean, who cares? as long as I got the homies, man. So it didn't tank my self-esteem <laughs> um, or anything, but you know. However, this did sort of become like a frequent thing. And after a while, it did give me this self-defeating and doubtful belief of, I don't think or know if anyone will actually like me because I'm not as cool or as popular as the guys that they always talk about. And I would always compare myself to these like mainstream attractive people. I imagine it'd be sort of like what TikTok is now. Well, like maybe like thirst TikTok at least, which is why I stay on anime TikTok. I fucking love that place. And I sort of let that negative mentality become a part of my identity. You know, anytime I interacted with girls or even new people in general, I would be like, okay, so because everyone thinks that I'm so disgusting and repulsive, so what? Bro, the only you don't have reason to be that cool people like me is for, if I for people to like you, but be yourself. Like, you know, which is a bro, good thing, by cool the way. Those are great traits to have. Like, to like I, school, I just had bro. abysmal like, self-esteem. Shut up. Like, so, please, shut so up. that was pretty much my like, experience bro, just, from like 12 to yeah, 20 yourself, years old. Bro. You're, Relevant story. So sometimes I remember in late high school, I was like, none of these niggas when people are talking about their crushes and stuff like that. You mention a guy's name, at least one of the girls would be flustered. Bro, like, you know, to like some sort of degree. Or, you know, they would giggle or whatever. Or you mention a popular boy's name and all of a sudden it's just a thirsty clown fiesta. So again, uh, your boy caught a stray bullet. You know, the letter W is just not present in the name Errol, unfortunately, my name gets mentioned. The foaming at the mouth for cute boys and the arguing and the fighting for crumbs, it just stopped. Because of me, they had found inner peace. And it was like, oh, Errol is... Uh, funny and nice. Champagne without the sham, dude. You know, it didn't hit different. Uh, it hurt different. Now, I was not entitled to any kind of praise or anything like that or affectionate attention from girls just for being nice, you know, because if you do expect that, you're not actually a nice guy, you're just weird. But why I gotta be dragged into it like that? You know? Uh, but you know, looking back, uh, it, it would have been nice though. You know, show your boy some love. It cost zero dollars, it would have been appreciated. But maybe this was like a really weird gift in disguise because moments like that made me realize I don't want to do things for the sole purpose of impressing girls or other people. I want to do it- I'm not gonna lie, he did, he did, a, he did a really I good job with the, uh, with the animation. Things with like the, um, working out and dressing better the, um, out of my own curiosity. And I detached my the, uh, reason to from stuff. impressing like how girls he made, how he made the people. animation video. Well, did, for the job, most right? part, you know, maybe I wanted to prove them wrong just a little. Just a little bit. <laughs> and this really allowed me to do my own thing and not worry about will people think I'm fit enough or well dressed. Uh, don't get it twisted though. Uh, this was not beast mode confidence or, or anything like that. It, it was more like me thinking, you know, I'm never gonna be able to reach the expectations or standards of other people. So I'd rather just make my own expectations and just enjoy myself doing that, probably. Inner peace? A low self-esteem? We'll never know. Bottom line, I wanted to do these things as a way to express myself. And if positive attention and healthy platonic relationships from girls is a byproduct of all of that, uh, well then that's just a bonus. So this is pretty much where you would insert like the anime training time skip montage. Over the years, this curiosity for cool things so that I could learn how to be cool resulted in me doing everything that I could to meet new and interesting people and learn from them. Initially, my goals revolved around things like fashion, fitness, and art, 
But as a byproduct, I got to collect some pretty cool life experiences. And if I may share something that I'm kind of proud of with you guys, I actually got pretty strong by the end of high school. Like, look at this. I mean, okay, listen, they're not toned, but those arms are packing heat, man. I'm just saying, Ooh, I'm just saying. Best. Moral of the story is if cute girl no talk to you because no hot. God, not the caveman impression. Make cute girl laugh, pick up heavy rock, maybe cute girl talk to you. You were ending it on such a good note. Who cares? It's so much funnier. It's stupid. Dude, oh, be yourself, oh cave. Dude, it's so much fun. I don't care about you, bro. It's so much funnier. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome back to the outro. Um, I'll talk about the details of why I had to leave so often and for so long another time but for now just know that i came back with the milk and that we're back in business babe yo that's kind of that's kind of freaky though Was anyways it? uh if you want to keep up with me make sure to follow me on twitter instagram tiktok and all right y'all that was the end of this reaction video Pictures hope you enjoyed man. scroll down hit the like button and subscribe to join the hashtag kai funny man I love you guys. We are so close to 800 subscribers. Make sure you subscribe to join the hashtag Cockroach Man. Subscribe to join the family, man. I love you guys. I got a lot of videos dropping for you guys this year. I love you guys. It's your boy Kyrie. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.